The only thing that's going to give you success is when you make a commitment to act. So you can read all the books that you want, all the self-help books, all the business books that you can get your hands on, but quite frankly, they are not going to help you to be successful. Because you've got to take what you read, you've got to take the knowledge that you have, and you've got to act on it. That's the only way you're going to have success. So if you're a sales manager, if you're a manager of any kind, if you're a small business owner, if you're a coach, if you're a salesperson, you've got to have a plan, but then you've got to act on your plan. Now that might mean that you might have to pick up the telephone and make a cold call to someone. If that's what is going to help you to have success, then you're going to need to, to do that. Action is the only thing that's going to make you successful. So that raises an interesting question. What is it, do you think, that holds people back from taking action? There's a lot of ideas that people have on why that's so. Why so many people who say they would like to be successful, they would like to have their own business, they would like to be successful in sales or whatever their chosen profession is, whatever they like doing, why is it that so many people, the majority of people, never find the success thereafter? Why is it they never achieve their goals? Well, it's because they're not taking the actions they need to take to be successful. Now, most people know what they need to do. They know the action they need to take if they want to be successful. So then why don't people take action? Well, I personally believe it's because of the habits that people have. In fact, you don't need me to tell you this uh, because this is not you know, rocket science. The fact is that the way you're living, the money you're earning, the job you're doing, the success you're having or not having, is all a, as a result of the habits that you have. So I want you to think about some of the habits that people have that actually sabotage them on the road to success. Uh, yet people have extremely unhealthy habits. It's very common, for instance, for people to stay up extremely late at night. So people go to sleep late, and when you go to sleep late, the fact is that the average person needs seven or eight hours of really good sleep if they're going to perform at their best mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. But if you're the type of person who's in the habit of going to bed late and then getting up late, are you going to be successful? Not likely. You'll find that most successful people are early risers, they get an early start on their day, and they're also people who have a very consistent habit of going to bed early enough that they get sufficient rest for their body and even most importantly for their brain because your brain needs rest. So how many people do you know who will tell you, oh, I went to bed last night at 1 or 2 in the morning and they're in the habit of doing that. And even if they do get up early, and sometimes they have to, how do they look? Do they look like they're well rested? How do they perform? Do they look like, or do you, can you see that they're performing at their peak? Obviously not. So that's one very bad habit that people have. So if you want to be successful, I would highly recommend that you start getting yourself into the habit of going to bed earlier than you are right now, unless of course you're already going to bed early enough for you, so that you can get a really good, sound, seven or eight hours of sleep. That's going to help you to get an earlier start on your day. It's going to help you to be physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually at your peak. You know, most people know that they should have a regular exercise program. So a lot of people say, well, I know I should exercise, um, or I should eat better. Remember, we never do our shoulds. So people are in this habit of not exercising, even though they know that's something that they really need to do to perform physically at their peak and mentally, emotionally, and spiritually at their peak. What about your eating habits? Are you in the habit of just uh, running out of the apartment or the house in the morning because you got up late because you went to bed late 
and uh, you run over to the closest coffee shop and you grab a muffin and a cup of coffee and that's your typical breakfast. Instead of making time to actually sit down and enjoy a very, very healthy breakfast if you're in the habit of eating breakfast. So what are your habits like in that regard? Will that affect whether or not you're going to be successful? Absolutely that will affect whether or not you achieve success and achieve the goals that you want. So by getting into the habit of getting enough sleep, getting enough rest, good healthy rest, uh, eating properly, exercising so that your body is in good physical condition, that's going to set you up mentally, emotionally, spiritually for success. Those are just three areas that you need to take, that you might need to take action on. Will you? So what I'm really encouraging you to think about is, are you willing to act? And action is the only thing that in the end is going to give you success. Will you take action today? I trust you will. Have a great one.